What is happening guys? Day to Day Gamer here with another Paper Mario the Origami King video, this time for Chestnut Valley, the area below Autumn Mountain. Uh, we're going to do this in a slightly different fashion uh, this time. Instead of doing it uh, by collectible, we're going to do it in order from when you land until the ending, everything as it comes, because this is an area you can complete fairly quickly. So I figured I would just do it in the order that I found them. So the first uh, three um, not so bottomless holes, right when you come down, are very visible. Um, there's two right there that you just saw me grab, and then there's the large one right here that is very hard to miss. Um, so you grab those three um, right off the bat, um, and that will be three down. And then obviously you see this question mark block uh, just tantalizing here in the background, taunting us. Um, you hit that one as well, and that'll be your first question mark block. And if you come down to the south here, you'll also find your first collectible treasure. So there's a whole bunch of stuff right here at the beginning. Um, this one will give you the 30 crates uh, collectible treasure, and uh, not, not the most exciting, but uh, it's a treasure. Um, so we'll take it. Uh, next up, after you bash this Goomba to Kingdom Come, um, you can knock this tree here, which will uh, make one of these spike balls come down, and that will explode, and there will be three toads inside, and these will be your first three toads of the uh, of the area. Um, the rest of the not so bottomless holes here, um, there's two more that are uh, plain as day right on the wall um, that you'll want to grab before you move on to the next area. Um, and then beyond these two, I believe there's also uh, one other one in this area that I'll get to in a second. Again, mo like most areas, the not bottomless holes in general aren't very, uh, very hard to find. Um, but it's easy to miss if you're, you know, looking at other things and you, and you don't want to backtrack and you want to know exactly where to go. So this will hopefully help you out in those situations. Um, next, you're going to want to cross this whole area with all these... Uh, dropping spike balls and then you'll see there's another chest here as well as our our bob friend who uh, needs needs our help so you're gonna come down here and you have to choose do you help bob first or do you grab it the, the chest i grab the chest you know i, I second guess myself um no regrets so i take the the sign collectible treasure um which is the second one of the area um and then you can help your uh bob friend um he seems to get himself into trouble far too often um, at some point, you just gotta let him let him get out of these messes on his own. Maybe then he'll learn, right? Um, this uh, hidden question mark block is probably one of the trickier ones of the area. Um, so it's because it's unmarked. So you'll want to go here and just jump up to claim that. Um, this Goomba here is going to climb up this tree. When you use your hammer to knock him down, a completely different set of enemies are going to come down with the Goomba. Um, he was the decoy, clearly. Um, after you beat all of them, the toads that are in the tree are yours to save another three, um, bringing our total to six. And there's also a, another chest uh, just to the south of that tree. Um, open that bad boy up and you'll get yourself the uh, spinning shells collectible treasure, um, which is every single collectible treasure in the area. So you've already completed one, one set of the objectives. Uh, this one is probably the hardest of the not so bottomless holes. Again, none of them are very hard. Um, but that one is the most hidden, I would say, um, just because it's not plain, plain in plain sight, it's kind of off to the side there. So just in case you missed it, that's where it was. Um, there's another one here on this wall, on your way down from that area before you get to the big uh, spike ball area maze. Um, and if you come to the south of that, navigate the maze, you can get to a question mark block that has a fire flower. Um, you'll also see this hole in the ground here to the north side of it. Um, hit that with your hammer and then pull out the toad that uh, is precariously uh, stuck in there. And uh, that'll be your, I think, is your seventh toad of the area. Um, one more down. Coming up to uh, the ledge above the spike ball maze, there are two more not so bottomless holes that you'll want to claim before you move on to the next area. So uh, get your confetti bag out and uh, clear those. Um, you'll see this crack in the wall here. That's for when you're navigating up like so to be able to dodge the spike ball um, safely without having to take any damage or being knocked off. Um, there's this ledge you can drop down to, which has a green pipe. If you go into this uh, said green pipe, it will take you to a different area that has a question mark block that you'll want to claim, um, as well as a Goomba, but you can just uh, bash him with the hammer, you don't have to get into the fight. That is the final question mark block of Chestnut Valley. We're also coming up on the final not-so-bottomless holes, so these two will be your last ones. There's one here, and then of course the one right beside it. That will be all the bottomless holes, not-so-bottomless holes, of the area. And finally, we need to claim the final toad. To do that, you gotta come over here and you'll see this uh, butterfly slowly making his way down, taking his sweet time. Once he does, you can give him a bash with the hammer and that is every single collectible in Chestnut Valley. I hope this helped you out. If it did, leave a like, leave a comment, consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.